welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing something really, really different. Lauren. Okay. Um, so we're going to be doing a pizza bread toasty kind of sort of thing. Um, anyway, I'm going to go through the list of ingredients and then I'm going to get down to pour so I can get my loaf of bread. So, what I've got in the plate is I've got the pepperoni slices and some ham. I've got like three slices of cooked ham. I've got two tomatoes, which I've sliced up. In here, I've got a mixture of cheddar and mozzarella cheese, about 25 grams of each. Shop-bought pizza sauce, which we used when we made our own pizzas. Normal butter, you can use whatever butter you use. I can't show the name, obviously. And then I'm going to get Darren to pause you so I can get our loaf of bread. All right, see you guys in a second. Hi guys, welcome back. I've got us, what, four, two sandwiches each? Yeah, about that. So, what I'm going to do is, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. So, what you need to do is get some of your tomato sauce, or your, your pizza-based sauce, sorry. Spray it onto your bread. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to taste or how it's going to turn out, but it looked really, really nice when one of my friends made it. So I thought, ooh, let me try. Well, basically, it's a pizza, but on bread. Isn't it? Yeah. Pizza bread. Put a little bit more sauce on there. Obviously, the bread's going to soak it up, so you don't want to put too much. But then you don't want to put too little. You want to make sure you get enough sauce. So I get told I don't spread the butter properly on the bread, so yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Right. Uh, what are we doing? Pizza sauce. Cheese on first, then topping? No, topping on first, then cheese. Yeah, cheese on top of the topping. Yeah. Um, what? Cheese on first, then topping. Right, okay. Do you want tomato? Yeah. Right, okay. Like I said, I've never done this before. So I literally don't know how it's going to turn out. How it's going to taste. Yes, this is the whole fun of it, really, isn't it? Mm hmm. Trial and error. Yeah. So, basically, the reason why I've not put any sauce on the other side on this bread is because this is going to sandwich onto there, and then we're going to butter that side. So, that side of the bread is going to get the butter, and then we're going to have to turn it over and butter the other side. Don't worry, it sounds complicated, it's not. He believe there's only two weeks to go until children go back to school. Man's gone so fast. Can you believe that? And then you go back to work again. Oh. And then we break up again. Is that enough ham? Yeah, that'll do. Say something for the other one. Tomatoes? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, you want a good sprinkling of cheese, she says as she's grabbing it. Because you don't want to put too much, but then you don't want to put too little. Hello, Noir. Hello, Noir's back. You're not getting enough love this time, you are. Hmm. So it is like a pizza, but not quite a pizza. There you go. Then we'll butter that side. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to grid it like in the frying pan, but I don't want to, I'm going to put it in the oven. Let's see what happens. So I'll just show you this one. 
But I know, I know, I've not put any of my best friend in there, but I know that the pepperoni is hot, so there's no need for me to put my best friend in there. So butter side down, give it a good old squeeze. Don't worry if any of the cheese seeps out, it doesn't matter, or the sauce seeps out, I don't matter either. Another one, another bit of butter on this side. I'm not putting any salt in this either because I know that pepperoni can be quite salty. So I've not put any salt in there. But you don't have to put pepperoni in this. I mean, the one I'm going to be doing for myself is just going to have the pizza based sauce and cheese and tomatoes. So it's going to be a margarita. Right then, I'm going to do my one. And then I'm going to carry on. Yeah, we'll pause you, then we'll bring you back again, guys, after yeah. this one. Before we put them in the oven. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do my pepperoni sauce. Smells really nice. And it's amazing what you can do with, with mm. sauces. If you don't know, you don't know. Do you? No, of course not. So you could try and experiment with a lot of things with a sauce. Yeah, it was only because somebody told me and they're like, oh, well, have you tried this? I was like, no. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, why? Right, we'll have to grab the other jar in a minute. You didn't think I would have any? No, I didn't actually. You'll put tomato it. in the middle then. No, it's for you, isn't it? Now I like mozzarella, so I'm going to put quite a bit on there. And on mine I'm going to put pepper on it because I've not got much else, so I'm going to put pepper. I was going to put mushrooms, but they weren't any good, so yeah, I didn't bother. So you can also add mushrooms on if you want to. Yeah, you can make it like a pizza, basically. A bit of fresh brown pepper. Needs a bit of that, doesn't mm -hmm. it? But your pepperoni is hot. Well, it says it's hot, but I don't know if it is or not. Is it not? I don't know. It's not like hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh, okay. It's not spicy. Hot. It's, it's, uh... yeah, it's mild hot. What we what that's, we normally like, say. The kick is there, but it's not like a kick. Yeah. It sends you on fire a kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to put mine on the separate jar. Yeah. Like I said, this is an experiment, so I've never done this before, and I don't know how it's going to turn out what it's going to taste like but I know that somebody's not going to complain so it'll be nope. fine right I'm going to pause you there and I'm going to carry on and we'll yep. bring you back just before we put these in the oven all right see you again guys see you guys in a bit Hi, Mac. done it all um I've just added a little bit of decoration on there by putting um some peppers and some cheese on my one and um, ham on Darren's with cheese as well and freshly sprinkled peppercorns. Thank you. There we go, guys. So we're gonna put them in the oven and it'll probably take about 20 minutes, 20, 25. Um, and then we'll bring you back when they're ready. We'll All see right. you guys later. See you later, bye. Bye, I'm back. It's been about 20, 25 minutes, would you say, Darren? About that. Yeah. Um, we have been checking it, well Darren has, so I've not been able to, um, yeah. Right, let's see. So, Darren's turned them over, just so you get like a nice colour on the other side. 
And I was saying maybe next time what we can do is get like a weight to like just weigh them down a bit just so we can squash them. But if you hear, you can hear that crispy sound. It sounds like, um, what's that that you have for fried breakfast? Fried bread. Anyway, there you have it guys. This is our own version of a pizza, but in a, in a toasty. Pizza, pizza toasties. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you want even need to cut one open. No, that's fine. No? No, just like that. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, who's is who's now? Anyway, I'm going to um, put them on the plate. Anyway, that's the Venus version too. Pizza Toasty. Yeah, that's the one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And to click the notification bell on. Comment down below to see what you think. And also, if there's anything else, let us know as well. So. Definitely. Right, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye for now.